Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to the new episode of uh, podcast with BL Inside Circle. Today, uh, Akshat is not here because he's ill. But we have a very special batchmate uh, by the name of Harmeet Singh. I'll tell you why we have invited Harmeet to be part of this in just a bit because I'll introduce the speaker now. The guest for today's episode is a professional singer. Though he has not left his corporate job, he is an investment professional since 15 years. Uh, he is an IM Koikod alum. He goes by the screen name of Sanket Banker, and obviously his real name is Devanjan Bhaduri. So welcome, sir, and uh, welcome to hello. BL Inside Circle podcast. And how are you hello, doing, hello. sir? All good, all good. Hi, Dhir. Hi, Harmi. So nice to be here. Same as. Sir, so let's. You guys uh, are doing fine. We are doing. We are doing very well, sir. Sir, uh, we know about your journey from I am Koikod, and now you are a professional singer. You have a YouTube channel. You are a professional singer since five years now. So tell us a little bit about your, about your journey. Uh, when did the singing start and uh, what made you go all out and uh, pursue this dream of this childhood dream of yours? Because I know we have discussed this on offline, but I want you to tell to the viewers also. Yeah, so uh, it's a very interesting, you know, ups and downs. It's not been a straight line. Uh, so I was very passionate about music as a kid, uh, you know, uh, as a kid, you know, my brother used to have classical music training, but I was too small. I didn't get the training, but my brother got, I got a little bit later on when we moved to Calcutta. But what happened is around uh, class 11, a few, you know, unfortunate events happened in my life. You know, I lost my father, you know, then I got jaundice, then my mom had certain issues with her health and we had to, you know, I had to move to Mumbai for her treatment and I had to drop a year for that, you know, so there were a whole string of events. And that time, you know, I got a little bit of time because I was, uh, you know, almost, almost always very career oriented. I was very much into studies. But that break of a year, uh, you know, made me uh, listen to a lot of good music. And that's when it kind of healed me, you know, from all the pain and trauma that was going through at that time. It really healed me. And that's when I thought that, you know, this has got a power which, ha which can transform, you know. It's, it's not just about, you know, listening pressure. It's something different. And that's when, when you know, I, I went into engineering. I was almost, you know, doing a lot of music at that time. And then, of course, you know, uh, did my MBA. Again, there was a hiatus for almost, you know, four or five years where I didn't do much music. I was almost, you know, entirely focused on career. And then, you know, again, I came back to music. But very interestingly, you know, my mother, because I was so interested after engineering, I wanted to, you know, uh, you know pursue a passion and career in music, my mother had put a condition to me that I had to, you know, do MBA from an IIM in order for, you know, uh, so that she could give permission for me to, you know, pursue because she always knew that it was a, you know, path strewn with a lot of struggle and she wanted me to have a good life. So, and ironically, you know, after I came out of, you know, IIM and I joined JP Morgan and corporate role, I almost, you know, lost track of music for almost four, five years before getting back there and, you know, and it started off, as you said, five years ago, when I again got back on track, started doing, you know, practicing, getting, trying to build a team around me and, you know, starting doing a lot of videos, a lot of music recordings and so on. So, yeah, that's, it's, it's been all, you know, a, a roller coaster for me. So we would love to uh, hear your insights about the revenue system in the musical industry right now. This is a question from an amateur to even so as a as a viewer, as a music listener, I have not much idea about how the revenue is generated. Are you uh, OK to share the uh, because you are part of the industry since a, uh, half a decade, more than a decade now? Sure, sure, sure. This is a very interesting question. And I know Harmeet is a professional singer, too. So he can also shed his, you know, his views and ideas about this. But music, uh, you know, in India has been, you know, independent music is non-existent. You know, there will be a you know, little bit of your know, bubbles there. But the bigger piece, the bigger universe, metaverse is all about Bollywood. And in Bollywood, there are, you know, fewer, you know, uh, fewer, fewer powerhouses, which, uh, which kind of decide what kind of music, you know, what are the trends, what is going. So um, it used to be very profitable and you used to generate a lot of revenues till about, you know, late 90s, early 2000, uh, before, you know, a rampant, uh, you know, piracy and CDs and all that happened, you know, 
you know all the piracy where you could uh, store you know before the piracy thing hit and you know music would be largely on cassette still that time i think it was a good revenue model just to be a singer they were paid well but then since the time piracy hit and you know all these music companies started losing a lot of money because of piracy uh, the kind of uh, the wallet share kind of tip for everyone right from composers to you know musicians who pay, used to play live to singers and the singer started relying a lot on live shows so uh, uh, so it's it's a very tricky thing because a lot of the leading singers have also come out and spoken their you know their uh, their you know views and their you know uh, struggles that they've been as a result of this but the good thing is a lot of that is shifting now you know as as a result of the you know the covid obviously it's been a very very unfortunate you know two years one and a half years now but the music industry has gone through a paradigm change you know a lot of the singers who were almost mainstream singers have now come up with their you know uh, their singles uh, their independent songs they have either you know uh, kind of uh, gone with independent labels or even some of them have started their own independent music labels and started doing a lot of independent music which is very very much required because music industry has to blossom on its own and a lot of other revenue streams are coming up like merchandise you know that was not there earlier it's been there in the west but in india it was not a major source of revenue but a lot of the independent singers and some of the mainstream bollywood singers are now you know tapping into apart from live shows which has been little badly hit because of the pandemic and the lockdown but things like merchandise sale is now coming up in a big way where loyal fans want to you know buy your merchandise but again when it comes to streaming you know streaming also has changed so much uh, you know the way people used to listen to music earlier it was cassettes then it was cds now it is all about streaming platforms be it spotify amazon music google play <clears throat> gana jio seven whichever it, it is but you know the although uh, the streams are lot more legalized so you can very clearly know how many people are listening and you get a you know share of the revenue or the royalty all the you know all the participants but still it is you know uh, the the royalties go largely to the creators which is not the singer it is still now it is the composer lyricist and the music label but then there are you know efforts going on to bring the singer into the fold as well but uh, you know it's still because it's it's lot more you know uh, digitized uh the payouts you know it it is not a it's it's much smaller in terms of unit unit you know uh, remuneration but uh, i think a lot of these people are you know going the right way they are building their fan base loyal fan base and they are you know utilizing that to you know spread the word of mouth and kind of specializing in a genre and bringing that up so it's it's a, it's it's a very it's in a state of flux yet to be seen whoever comes you know really trumps out of this whole You know, that big shuffle, the big you know flux that's going on right now. But there are a lot of models that are coming up. Be it you know live shows, obviously, which has been hit of of late. But you know mainstay merchandise sale, you know uh, online shows, you know then obviously streaming revenues, and you know if you are monetized on YouTube, you could get something on YouTube as well. If you are monetized and you have a good fan following, so there are various means and ways. but it is i would be very frank and candid in saying that it's not remunerative enough because music is if you have to reach out to your audience in a big way you need to make investments and that is where it becomes a little challenging for the the you know the upcoming artists where if they don't have the wherewithal to reach out so uh, it gets a little tricky for them either they have to go for a reality show to get heard or they need to you know really invest uh, you know some sum of money up front in order to you know get their you know singles out and you know get it out to the audience so there's no clear cut answer but i think it's getting there now that independent music scene is coming up talking about uh, upcoming artists harmeet your take on this particular topic because you we every everybody knows at least in the cohort and everybody in the college knows that you're a professional singer so i i truly believe that uh, what i totally concur to the point uh, what uh, the banjan sir said uh, that uh, independent is a very small bubble of a uh, big industry and uh, the remuneration are not that uh, good but i think digital has contributed us magnificently now like uh, now if you look at the 
income that you produce from reels in the instagram if you hit a certain benchmark so that is that is just very very uh, you know it, it was never imagined of and uh, i think that way we we've, uh, we've come across as a uh, come across as a long way but i i still have a one question uh, with the uh, dibanjan sir that would like let's say there there are million of artists right now millions of singers everyone wants to become a sensation everyone wants to reach at the top right so how do you do that either let's say you have a decent amount of money also to invest where do you like you uh, across your journey you have seen a lot of you've gone through a lot of vicissitudes you've seen a lot of places where you fell where you've uh, risen so you want the others to go independently or to align themselves with the big brands such as t series sony music or probably xyz any of the brand what is your take on that sir see it's a very individual call uh, you know a lot of artists are doing very well once they have signed up with some of these big labels and you know they are doing they are up, coming up with releases almost every week every month and they are getting the reach but you know uh, independent is independent you know uh, if you want to really so there are two things to it the way i look at it uh, one is you know when when you are independent there are two things that you can do one is you can do your music you know uh, whatever you connect with you are not bothered about the trends you know you can do whatever is trending and whatever is you know popular but you can you know do your genre whatever connects to your heart to your soul you can bring that music out in your way so it is a very individual it's like your signature your signature music that's one thing which you can do in independent in order for you know you to do that in a mainstream in a you know bollywood or a you know music labels you need to really convince them because you need to convince them with your fan following with you know uh, showing that you know the taste is also moving of the masses from here to there you know and that's that that's a journey you know and for them to be convinced basis a small independent singer so that's one big advantage of being independent and the second advantage of being independent is that you know uh, uh it it's so it's it's hard it's hard you know you don't get easily to the you know you don't you are always you know swimming you know you know throwing your hand and feet trying to stay afloat you don't know when when you'll reach the you know other end but somewhere you have that gratification that you are driving the ship you know you are driving your course you know you are in control rather than you know someone driving you you know uh, because if you are reliant on a huge ship for you to you know take from here to there you know you never know you know when the big ship will abandon you you know uh, it you could yeah. be in great terms and it could be always on you know you could be in good books you could be a great singer they recognize you it's a great you know a bond that you share but you know you never know the tide could tide could turn against you some day maybe you fall out of favor or whatever you know so it's always good somewhere where you are independent you can do your own music you know you can you know uh, make yourself heard distinctly from what the market is because i believe every singer is unique everyone has a signature voice and uh, it's most important to kind of hone that signature voice do it in your you know in your own uh, you know solitude find your signature voice do it in your own way find your music find your sound hone that and bring that out it takes time but then once you you know start liking your own thing because initially also you know i i used to struggle a lot i used to, wouldn't like my sound you know i wouldn't like my sound i will always be so critical but over a period of time you know honing it working with a team you find you like it first you need to like it and then the universe listens you know others right. start liking it you know so independent being independent has its own merits as well but it requires a lot of commitment because you won't find too many takers you won't find too many people you know vouching for you supporting you you have to you know tread it all alone but once it you know once you get it right it's a long run process but it's much more stable it's in your control you can drive it the way you want you can give the music the message that you want the way you want amazing amazing i think that's a spell wound so uh, just an add on question to it i think uh, uh, a lot of people 
you know the, like you said that uh, you j- started your journey and your mother was had a little bit of qualms which every indian mother would have because there's a lot of insecurity in this market and in, there's a lot of insecurity because there's a dearth of information about the revenue streams or probably the uh, probably people are not well known about apprised of the fact that this is also a profitable business or probably enterprise so yes. how do you see like the, i i've seen it very closely i've seen people uh, even the musicians also who are who are like let's say uh, the guitarist the uh, percussionist they are earning somewhere around 2.5 to 3 lakhs per month not uh, certainly in the covid times but beyond uh, before that yes. so they were doing really well but there's a lot of you know if if you are good at it you can do it yes but what's your take like how how do you convince the mothers of our nation that okay jo kar raha hai usko karne do yaar this is what he wants and probably if he can do it and if you give them a little bit of push i think he can do wonders what's your take on yeah. that yeah that's that's a very good way you know i uh, my mom was a very strong personality i think a lot of moms are very strong personalities and they always care for our well being you know uh, super protective and i appreciate that you know at that time obviously you know i followed whatever her instructions were gave cat went into iim but then you know <laughs> fell into the rat race but i would say that you know uh, it's all good you know what what you are talking about you know all the musicians how much they earn all the established singers how much they earn Yeah, uh, it's it's quite sizable, but then there is a almost what we you know lose sight of is behind the scenes they would have put some four, five, six years of struggle. You know, even some of the top YouTubers, singers today, or some of the top musicians today, or you know even the people who we are hearing of today, they would have almost you know struggled for four, five, six, seven years before we before they could make a dent in the scene and they they started earning some meaningful money. and it, the equation has been even more you know protracted because of covid but i would say that it is important you know if we have a will power which can withstand those 5 6 years of struggle and keep us still you know motivated in that path then i think we should go ahead and we should follow our heart but i think it is very it's a very individual thing you know for me i was insecure from inside although i was saying that you know let me do this let me do that i am already an already an engineer you know let me do that but somewhere there i was insecure because i also want, wanted a very cushy life you know a well to do you know a comfortable life somewhere that was there and somewhere you know this entire thing about once you get into the music industry you have to you know uh, tap a lot of doors you know do a lot of things you know in terms of there is a lot of struggle involved uh it was somewhere not you know although i was kind of uh, very very hard at it but somewhere inside i didn't i wasn't strong enough and therefore i went for the easier way where the easier or difficult whichever way we you look at it where you tread both the paths together but for someone who wants to go solo and all out in that direction he should be very clear that you know for next 4 5 years either you know he is very very confident that he'll be able to make it all alone without any support in a struggle mode it's great if we can you know make it in a year's time in a year and half's time you know kudos but uh, you he has to be open for a struggle and he has to make that struggle each and every day when he wakes up you know only today i was yeah this is so in- interesting today i was listening to dada saurav ganguly talking about sharukh khan you know uh, and it is a very popular thing but the way he was telling you know he was i think addressing a group of students and uh, this came on a facebook uh, it, he said that sharukh he said that you know uh, shoaib akhtar was sitting in the same in the kkr camp and he was just totally overawed with sharukh and uh, he said that you know uh, why are you so overawed of Shah- sharukh and then they started discussing and sharukh started you know uh, talking about his life he said that you know i don't have a good you know uh, i don't i don't look good i do, i can't dance like rithik i am not a from a kapoor family i didn't have money when i come to mumbai when i came to mumbai i shared a one bhk with a friend of mine i had no what you go you know i had no support but every day i used to sit in the evening at bandstand and i used to say that ye wala jo ghar hai ye ek din mera hoga no i used to say that and ye jo mumbai hai is pe ek din main raj karunga i used to say that every day you you have any, uh, there was one session i attended with niranjan niranjan who is done niranjan uh, 
Niranjan, I forget his uh, this thing. Niranjan, he has done a lot of you know uh, lyrics for Shah Rukh movies like My Name Is Khan and all. He said the exact same thing. In those struggle right. days, he never lost it. You know, he was you know in cir- you know circles. Me, I he had that circus uh, serial. He had that forgy serial, and he used to you know, really you know struggle in those days. You know, and uh, but he didn't give up. If someone has that kind of grit, nothing can stop them. You know, nothing can stop them in anything. You know, but if you think that you are not that iron, you know, iron strong in your will, then I think it is also there. There is no, you know, it's also okay to do both or to secure your life and do it on parallel lines. I think that is also an okay path to take. Which is what I think uh, you are uh, part of because you are still part of the corporate world. You are still singing, and I'm sure. So what is uh if i may ask you if i'm allowed to ask you what is your future goal maybe next 5 years and next 10 years do you still want to do both or would you wish that one fine day i just leave my corporate world behind and only do sing yes yeah, so that's a wish that's a wish that i would you know do it full time that has been my childhood dream but you know the realities and we were talking about you know lot of remuneration and the thing is uh, you know uh, as i said independence uh you know if you are following trends if you are willing to you know go with whatever is happening and music today has its own you know there are certain genres that are very popular you know there's a lot of prospect there you know uh, like hip hop and you know uh, electronic and there are a lot of prospects there if you are good in those areas i think you will not be out of you know you but if you want to do your own kind of music which doesn't have too many takers today maybe it is there for you know maybe you know few years down the road or even when we are you are gone but it is your message the way you want to deliver it i think it's very important for you to you know have that where with all those resources to get your music out to get your voice out to get your signature sound out and that is where i think that you know my job has helped me a lot uh, you know i have i have uh, uh, i've got that goodwill now in my you know corporate uh, roles that you know he is efficient he can do his stuff and he can also manage time on the weekends late nights whatever somehow he can do his music also so that so i i don't have any set plan but i want to do my kind of music that is my you know whole goal you know so if i am i am tomorrow you know i i uh, suppose i become you know self sustaining you know i get you know all the resources that kind of kind of sets me on the path to you know follow my dream i'll kind of or i all my music career itself become self sustaining you know i wouldn't think twice you know before leaving my corporate job because that's more like a means to the goal and for me goal is music so that's how i would put it i don't have any set plans i am happy with whatever i am doing i am you know pretty efficient at that i am able to manage both i have a team which is so so critical for me uh, on my music front and also obviously in office but also on my music front which helps me churn things pretty quickly and efficiently so it's going well but suppose you know uh, if i am i'm that particular career kind of is very remunerative and helps me sustain and do my kind of music on an ongoing basis i would be so glad to you know jump on it full time so just a quick advice on the people who are looking forward like let's say that people have uh, reached uh, nirvana for their you know or probably are secured now okay so what do you suggest them do you do you really suggest them to Uh, now take a break for an year or two and then do what they want to and uh, then join the corporate world or probably just uh, go as you did the same uh, parallelly is a very good question very individualistic again i would say that it's all about uh, how much will power each individual has you know see i i i am a very timid shy introvertish person you know it doesn't may not seem exactly like that but that is what i am in the core you know and i could never say no till a certain period of time you know almost till 5 years 6 years ago i could never say no now when for my kind of a psyche it doesn't you know it doesn't come to me that i can fight the entire system i can find and struggle and you know even have, so for me it is very important to have stability for people who already have stability you know it is a good bet to you know go for your passion it's a very good bet it's a very right time now uh, because you know everything is in a state of flux one year here there it is just you know it will just go in a zip zip and nobody is going to you even question earlier you know people used to see cvs are tumhara ek saal ka break hai do saal ka break hai kahan kya kar rahe the 
no nowadays first of all the awareness is there that people have to be fit they need to take out some time for fitness there are a lot of people who are running marathons they want work life balance they are you know they want you to be you know not more than you know just your job give spend time with your family quality time with your family have vacations so that that awareness is also dawning on corporates on top of that even if you you know if you are set you are in a stable have a good footing you should go for your passion all out because you know you know that that particular front is taken care of and you see it you know see the waters see how you are you know uh, kind of wading through the waters and if you are you know you are doing go- good and you are you know getting that you know self self satisfaction and the motivation just go all out so you're saying that uh, if i take a year break i think you'll be happy to take me after one year in your company <laughs> <laughs> my company i don't call the shots you know but you know if you want to join me on music i am you know so glad but my company i am also an employee so <laughs> i am also at their mercy but yeah i am always happy to collaborate so yeah i am so glad you know if you want to collaborate i am so happy you know dheer i know that he has a pension for acting you know i we can all three of us can collaborate why not you know i have already come to campus and you know shot a video there no we can definitely do more collabs we have done the campus anthem also badalone class so we can collaborate and that that would be you know so much fun i think that he is the one of the most handsome guy we have in the cohort or probably in the campus so that's a perfect guy for you sir good to go absolutely absolutely mujhe to mera hero mil gaya Yes. Uh, so before we end, we won't. Uh, we we ideally wouldn't want to uh, leave you without uh, hearing or uh, hearing your single or maybe unreleased single or maybe one of your old uh, songs, which you maybe just a just a two line or one 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 point three from your song, sir. And maybe Harmeet can also join. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I would love to hear him too. So uh, I would sing a song which uh, is uh, you know a couple of years old. I am coming up with a song in in a in a week's time. Uh, it's on it's from my EP called Pyar Nama. It's the second song, uh, and the song is called Bin Barish. But the song that I want to sing today because it's got I M K connection. This is a song called uh, Tu Dost Hai Mera. It's a friendship anthem that I shot on I M K campus, uh, and I released it on Friendship Day uh, in 2018, I think or 19. Uh, I'll sing a few lines. and yes you know uh, i hope you like it mere sang sang chal tu mere yaar pyar hai tu dost hai tu pyar hai tu yaar hai mera meri duniya bhi hai tu mera ye jahan bhi hai tu preet hai tu meet hai विश्वास है मेरा तू ही धड़कन में है तू ही सांसों में ओ ओ तू ही नस नस में है तू ख्यालों में तू दो तू दोस्त है मेरा तू दोस्त है मेरा ओ तू दोस्त है मेरा सर यू टेकन प्लेसेस टू मी नाउ इट्स ब्यूटीफुल इट्स ब्यूटीफुल so glad thank you so really much beautiful, sir. i want to hear you yeah i just i offline heard you but love to hear you i know that you are you know uh, you know uh, you are about to release a song i would just love to hear a few lines from that unreleased song of yours <laughs> i think uh, i think uh, wo, i'll just uh, narrate uh, the 20 seconds uh, story behind that ki jab uh, ladka is after the ladki and then uh, that ही इज वेरी मच इंटरेस्टेड उसके पीछे जाता रहता है कस्मे खाता है जीने मरने की और कहता है कि मैं कुछ भी कहेगी वो कर लूंगा मगर देर इज अ स्टेज दैट वेन दी मोनाटनी किक्स एन 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 ईज लाइक क्या ठीक है अब तू मेरे से थोड़ा दूर हो जाव टू फोकस ऑन माई लाइफ फोकस ऑन माई 
path focus on my dream or probably a number of reasons so then the girl gets annoyed and then usi mein ek hook line hai ki wo kehta main tho dur 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 hona shuru kar de main tho neen bana jo paya pyaar i think wow. it will hit the market trees <laughs> ंग I wish it comes true uh, faster faster thank and faster you. than you imagine and thank you harbi uh, to be part of this uh, that's all from today's podcast guys thank you so much thank you so much dee thanks anmit it was such a pleasure to be here thank you sir thank you so much